Welcome to this video. This video is meant for students of cohort 2023 to 2024 or later and explains you how you can use the Plan app. If you are a switcher, someone who switched programs and started before cohort 2023 to 2024, please check the other video. The Plan app is a tool to help you organize your courses. You also need to use the Plan app for submitting a proposal for your program of examination. You can start planning your program in the default plan with a grey background, or you can make one of several drafts with a green background. In this video, we'll work in a draft plan. Some courses are already planned, depending on the exam program you are following or have followed, and the enrollments that are present. Below each course in your planning, you can see in which part of your program of examination the course is planned. If there is a check mark behind the course name, it shows that the course has been passed. You can find courses from which a compulsory choice has to be made in plan later such as core electives. Click on the information icon for more information about the course. You can also plan courses via Plan Later by clicking on Plan Now. But first, visit the course catalog to select elective courses for your planning, if not already present in your Plan Later. Use the search filter to get an overview of the courses available. Select the courses you would like to plan by clicking on Plan Later. Go back to your planning. All the courses you selected are now in the Plan Later section below Other. You can also use the plus symbol in one of the quartiles to see which courses are available in that quartile and plan them directly. Once you have a course you want to integrate in your program, click on Plan Now to add it to your schedule. Some bachelor programs have a part consisting of core electives. For example, for this program of examination, you need to choose 10 credits for the part core electives. Click on Plan Now to add it to your planning. For each core elective and elective, you'll need to place each course in your chosen study program component. After you have planned an elective in your planning, click on the three dots and click on Place in Study Program Component. Choose in which component you want to place this course. Please note that if you click on Not in my study program, the chosen course will be placed below other in your study progress overview. It will not count toward the 180 credits. Do not forget to save your changes. When you have finished planning all of your courses, click on Validate Plan to see if your planning meets the requirements of your program of examination and to check if your planning is feasible. Please be aware that clicking on Validate Plan is not the same as submitting your proposal for approval. If a pop-up appears with the following sign, it will block you from submitting your proposal for approval. Read it carefully and adjust your planning accordingly. If a pop-up appears with the following sign, it is a warning. Please read it carefully. You can still submit your proposal for approval.
In order to make one specific draft plan to the default plan, go to Draft, then click on Override Plan. Your previous default plan will not disappear, but it will no longer be your standard default plan. You can only submit your proposal from the default plan. It will not work from a draft plan. After you have completed 90 credits and you have a further 180 credits planned, you can submit your proposal to the examination committee. You can do this by clicking on Options and then on Submit Proposal for Approval. In this screen, you can see your choices of electives. Click on Next to proceed. Confirm your choices of electives. It is mandatory to fill in the explanation bar. After you have filled this in, the button Submit for Approval will be activated. The plan app will indicate that you have submitted your proposal for approval by the examination committee. If your proposal is rejected, the message will be in red or pink. You will also receive an email. You can read the reviewer's explanation by clicking on the information icon. As soon as your program is approved, there will be a message in the plan app. If you want to make any changes to your previously approved proposal, go to Options and click on Enable Resubmit of Proposal. A pop-up will appear to ask if you are sure you want to submit a new proposal and undo the previously approval. Now you can make changes to your elective space by planning other courses. If you are done making changes to your elective space, go to Options and click on Submit Proposal for Approval to submit your new proposal. Here are some general tips when using the Plan app. Make sure to save your plan. It is best to do this several times. Refresh your browser if an action is not immediately visible. Determine whether to place all dark blue, yellow, and red or pink courses within your program of examination. Courses in blue are core courses and are placed automatically. Thank you for watching this video.